welcome back. In the last video, we saw the process or the steps we will follow in order to create a website for our school. The most important thing to understand here is that communication, be it any kind of communication, whether you're designing a poster or you are giving a public uh, speech or in our case, designing a website, communication is all about making sure that your audience understands the message that you want to convey. And in order to do this, what we really have to do is first understand what is it that we want to convey to our audience. And for this, we want to know who is our target audience, what is the, their need and what is our message and how best can we convey it to them. In other words, good communication is all about being able to put yourself in the shoes of your audience and then conveying a message in a way that your audience finds most appealing. So when it comes to our school website project, the first thing we want to do is figure out what is the purpose of our website. And assuming that you are a teacher who's going to uh, do this project with your, with your students, uh, while I am going to give you suggestions, the idea is that when you do this exercise with your students, you do all the brainstorming with them. So I am defining, for example, the purpose of our website is to provide relevant information to our target audience in an elegant and engaging manner. And again, I, I reiterate that this is not the purpose of your website. Your, the purpose of your website is something you should discuss with your students and together you should come up with what is the purpose of your website. Uh, just to explain the purpose that I have written down here, we are talking about presenting relevant information and what is relevant is something that we will just look at uh, to our target audience and who's our target audience is again something we will look at in an elegant, uh, which means that uh, we will present it in a way that it's pleasing. The user experience is a, is a pleasing, pleasant experience uh, and it's not a very cluttered, difficult to navigate kind of an experience. And finally, in an engaging manner, we want to create a website in such a fashion, so professionally and elegantly that our audience actively engages with our website. The next step you will take with your students is to discuss with them or brainstorm with them who all could be the target audience of your website. So for example, parents could be the target audience, but then you have to dis go deeper into this category or this audience segment and think of all different types of parents who may be the target audience for your, for your website. For example, there are of course the current parents. So what could be the information needs of a current parent, maybe about school events, maybe about school holidays, uh, the whole timetable, etc., uh, or, or maybe the meals that are being served and, and the parent is curious about figuring out what kind of meals are being served in the school and so forth. Uh, so those are the information needs of current parents. And if that, we decide that current parents are the target audience of our website, then that is the kind of information need we will have to fulfill. Another subcategory within parents would be prospective parents. Parents who are thinking of admitting their, their child or children to a, a school and one of the schools they are thinking of is your school. And if there is such a prospective parent, then what kind of information need will such a parent have? Another category for our target target audience uh, could be students. And again, when it comes to students, you have to discuss this in detail with your students and, uh, and, and, and cajole them, uh, encourage them, motivate them to really think. Because remember, we said that the whole objective of starting clubs in our school is to foster 21st century life skills, life skills, which the current syllabus and curriculum really does not address. But we, we know that these skills are critical and as, as responsible teachers, we want to make sure that our students learn these skills. So critical thinking is one such skill. And only when you will motivate and, and encourage your students to uh, uh, think deeper, will this website project uh, really prove useful. So when it comes to students, ask them what, what would be the subcategories within this larger category of students. For example, uh, current students. So if there are current students and this is something which your students are and hence they should be able to really uh, articulate what kind of needs 
uh, would the website serve that the website becomes a interesting place or a useful place for themselves or within the students category another category would be former students students who have passed out from the school what kind of information needs would they have is something we have to imagine and then make sure that our website fulfills those information needs and again there could be a prospective students you know when it comes to uh, uh, junior classes it's probably the parent who will take the decision but when it comes to senior students before they decide which school to join i'm pretty sure they would like to visit the school's website and and figure out what is life like in that school and would they really uh, enjoy themselves learn in in that school so if a, a prospective student is our target audience then we need to fulfill such information needs another target audience category would be teachers and again when it comes to teachers brainstorm with your students and let them come up with all kinds of ideas uh, for example current teachers what is the information need of current teachers that our website can fulfill or a prospective teacher a teacher who is looking for a new job and is looking at your school or it could be a, a guest teacher uh, a, a famous person that you want to invite or a, or a specialist or an expert whom you want to invite to your school and you are going to write a nice invitation letter to them and can you also give the link to your website and and uh, if such a person comes to your school website the school website plays a critical role in convincing that person to visit your school or it could be a volunteer that you want uh, people to come and volunteer at your schools then if that is one of the uh, segments of of your target audience then what kind of information needs should your website fulfill once you have discussed with your students and you have come up with certain categories and subcategories of your target audience for your website the next step is a needs analysis a needs analysis is also called a use case what a use case means is that we imagine one of the target audience uh, let's say a prospective parent and we try to we we put ourselves in the shoes of a prospective parent and try to imagine what kind of information needs what such a parent have that our website should fulfill a prospective parent would like to know the facilities and activities in your school they might also want to know achievements for example achievements in different domains sports or or debates and uh, other competitions or they would definitely like to know past results past performance of your students in public exams they would definitely like to know what's the fees in your school they would like to know the location and if transport is available from from their place of residence to the school uh they would like to know is your school a caring safe secure place so if this is the information need of a prospective parent we will later have to figure out how do we fulfill this need uh when we build our website so do we show photographs do we show videos in what ways can we convince a prospective parent that uh, our school is a caring safe secure place and finally a prospective parent will definitely be convinced by testimonials testimonials means that what do other parents think about our school so here we could give some quotes we could we, we could ask our current parents to tell us about the school and then we could quote them and put their quote and maybe with a photograph on our website let's look at another subcategory a prospective teacher again the idea of needs analysis is that we put ourselves in the shoes of prospective teachers and then try to imagine what kind of information needs would they have so first thing they would like to know if they visit your website is if there are any vacancies if there are any open spots for whatever subject they are teachers of they would like to know the salary and the perks that your school offers they would like to know about training opportunities they would like to know about working hours and holidays and these are just suggestions and you should again you should brainstorm with your with your students to to really get them thinking about what are the information needs of uh, your uh, the target audience let's look at one last category uh, ex students former students what could be the information needs of such students that our website could fulfill so it could be uh, they would like to know this news about the school what is happening you know it's just curiosity you passed out from your school you want to know what's happening in your school they might want to know the events calendar just in case they are in town and they want to come and visit the school 
if there is an alumni association then yes there should be a page of the alumni association on, on the website and where you could talk about uh, alumni events and finally uh, ex students are are a great uh, resource when it comes to volunteering because you may want to invite them back or encourage them to come back to the school and talk about their college life or working life to your current students once you have defined the the objective the purpose of your website then you've defined the target audience and you've done a needs analysis then time has come to create a rough schematic a site map for your for your school's website and a site map is is also called the information architecture of your website just like when you are planning to construct a building you have to prepare a blueprint likewise when we want to plan our website we want to create a site map so in our case we are saying that in on our website there will be a home page or a landing page and we will come to discussing the home page and landing page later this is the page where we really show some video or some big photograph it's called a hero image to really attract and you know give the essence of our school so that when a person lands on our web uh, web page they are immediately attracted to our school or our website so then we we said that we will have three categories parents teachers and students whose information needs we have to uh, fulfill our website has to fulfill and within these then there are subcategories parents and uh, you know current prospective guests volunteers uh, former students etc so what we are saying here is that our site map is that there will be a landing page and either there will be subsections within the landing page or there might be different pages where we will address the specific information needs of the target audience that we have defined in our case we said parents teachers students but in your case once you have discussed it with your students you may have more categories and then we will also have another section which will have information which is required by all the categories for example uh, uh, which is required by all the target audience things like school address location map how to get in touch with the school email phone number etc so that's how once we have finished this whole exercise of first defining the purpose of our website then defining the target audience of our website doing a needs analysis a use case analysis where we put ourselves in the shoes of the target audience and try to figure out their information needs that our website will fulfill the end result will be a, a site map once we have the site map ready the next step is to create a, a rough storyboard more about that in the next video